All right, welcome back. Third episode, coming in hot. We're test driving the JK. We're gonna talk about stuff we did on the white YJ, the orange YJ. We're gonna load them on the trailer, get them going. And we're taking off tonight and driving to AOP. So all the hard work we've done in the last like two, three weeks is coming to an end and we'll get to Did I put the skid plate bolts in on this one? Mm. We're not done. I see four. <laughs> We're good. So, I know on this one, we recently took it to Georgia with us, and the driver literally put this thing through a beat down and was testing all the ponies, but <clears throat> motor mount basically. You want, me to, you want me to give him a rundown? The, the carnage? Yeah, I guess. So we took it to Georgia, when was this, a month ago? Yeah. And um, he broke the engine skid, the motor mounts, a shaft or a hub. Um, didn't he break something in the rear too? I he bent an arm, bent, an arm. bent a control arm. So basically, we did the best we could in a short period of time to get it ready for this trip. We replaced both hubs and new joints. You got slugs now. Um, the motor mounts, it Shout had... Shout knuckle. We originally thought my welds broke, but you guys know my welds aren't gonna break. They ripped the frame out. <laughs> so I had uh, to box in the frame around the motor mount and put another gusset on the motor mount. And then we swapped out the arm for a random arm we had laying around. Yeah, it's close enough to the same length as the, the yeah, other side. It's enough enough for this trip. Yep. And then after this, we'll probably do like another phase of the build and hopefully figure out some things about the frame. But yeah, basically, we, we found out the frame is not good. what it is or what we thought it is. And it's, it's rusted. It's rough. It's needed a couple band-aids. And all we're doing is just putting band-aids on bullet holes right now. But... We're the car's going, we're still the, moving. <laughs> the steering fluid was getting too hot. Yeah, steering fluid was getting too hot. So so I'm, I moved the cooler, it. but it's probably still going to get hot. Because we think the pump has a problem, it's not circulating fluid Yeah, but I think, I think this also... Oh yeah, that moves a lot. There is a... It's not straight, so that's we, a problem too. We bent it here and, and tweaked, or he cracked a weld back there. Yeah, so this, that thing this thing's all around. like... It's all, it's all banged up, but... You think Jeez. this is the last trip until he, he breaks it? It's the last trip before a, a lot of more work, but... I think it's tube chassis after this trip. Yeah, we're gonna make the best out of it, but whatever. And then the YJ, my YJ, we did some... Honestly, all I did was just... We did the new motorboat boat sides, because somehow, I have no idea what happened in Georgia, but this happened and then my corner here got like completely peeled back and I was like whatever I've been wanting to do the boat sides so basically cut up the whole thing and then it replaces it with a new floor so that's pretty cool yeah, you can't really see it but it stiffened up all this pretty good so that's good we did white panels instead of the darker ones we had and then I think I just had to fix like little things I had a fuel fuel pump issue with the wire Got that fixed, cleaned it up. I think we need limit straps for the front because those are getting pretty old. But this was pretty much done. It was, it needed minor stuff. It honestly was ready to go within like an hour of working on it, except I decided to cut half the car again. So that's fun. But he was lying about the limit straps being old. He just doesn't know how to measure. We made him too short. No, I, I bought the same length, it's just dope. He's, he's lying. The engineer that built it didn't do it right. Which he's is the engineer. So, yeah, I, I mounted it. I mount them on the lower control arm, and pretty much it just tears into it little by little. So, but the wire is ready to go. It's got like little, little diff leaks, and trying to figure out a leak here because there was one time in Alabama I was driving like a dummy. and pop the tire so I'm trying to see if I could save it and vulcanize it again but I might have to put the spare on which isn't a big deal enough talking about the cars we're gonna test drive this hopefully in a little bit we'll get a new battery for it and it stops raining and then if everything goes good we'll flex it out 
and then we'll start getting everything loaded up on the trailer and we're gonna go home catch some sleep and we're taking off at midnight So test row the JK, everything's doing really good. We have it all flexed out right now. Checking for clearances, making sure everything's good. No contact anywhere. Arms are flexing pretty good. Brake lines have clearance. Everything's good back here. So yeah, looks like we're good. Well, we're gonna leave it out for the customer to pick it up and load up our trailer. Start riding out. All right, we got the rigs loaded up, trucks ready to go. All of our stuff and gear is inside the rigs. We're gonna go home, sleep. These guys are gonna do whatever they're gonna do. And then we'll be back at midnight and we're taking off. All right, guys, we made it to AOP. <laughs> Super long drive, got here probably like four or 5 p.m. A ton of traffic to Atlanta and Chattanooga, which is always hard to deal with driving up here. But um, JK's here, he's airing down. YJ's here, YJ's here. Bounce is ready for the race tomorrow, which we'll do a separate video for. People are starting to roll in, so it's starting to look good. It'll be crazy, because probably tomorrow this whole thing is gonna be completely filled up, so it's cool to see it empty. A lot of nice views. The beat downs are awaiting. But um, I think we're gonna run over to the shop real quick and then I think Brett's over there doing a repair on a, one of our buddy's rigs that he, they found a hole in the frame. So bought some quarter inch plate and they're gonna probably like cut it up, form it up to the frame, weld it on, whatever. And we'll probably go hit the trails today. I hope so. And then drive up here for nothing. So let's go to the shop.
We are here at the shop. shop. That's already working, unfortunately. Check out this cool little man cave. Okay, you guys, so it's getting fixed here. Yeah, all that. So we're gonna do a quick trail fix for this guy. Oh, you can tell it's hitting something right there. It's a little fucked up, man. It's a little fucked up. We'll get that fixed up. And we'll check back and then hopefully we're gonna heal him. Do it. All right, guys, we're on the trail. This is going to be the JK and the other TJ and the YJ out here today. But um, we're going to close out this video. Basically being the test drive video. And then you're going to have to wait until you see what we do for the final video of the series. Forgot to mention, we got our boy here, Rodri. What's up? You know what? Hit an outro. Dude, guys, you already know. Click the like, subscribe, notification, the little bell. You guys already know. More videos, all the content. Kick it.